I've missed doing these videos. We are back with another In The Real World review. If you've missed the other videos like this, check out this playlist. I've done several of them. In this series, what I like to do, I'll get a new fragrance in. And before I even smell it, I want to give you a more realistic take on experiencing a fragrance for the first time. So it's not quite different from how you would experience it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to spray it on my hand. I'm going to give you my live first impressions. If I like it, if it feels appropriate for me to wear to where I have to go tonight, then I will come back. I will give it that full wearing. I'll give you my thoughts then of how it's behaving in the air. And then I'll most likely come back one more time after the evening is over and tell you what I think in terms of my final thoughts. So as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, our subject is a very big one. This fragrance was highly anticipated. It was actually a little bit of a surprise. Coming from Roger Parfums, we have Apex. I have the box here and we've already made an incision. So let's see what's in this box. So here's our box. This is lovely. This is not too different from other Rogers, but we do have some interesting detailing here. I'm gonna give you a closer look here. Normally I would just layer this as B-roll, but I'm here next to the camera. I'm actually talking. Hello. And we're gonna unbox this together right up close here. I love the detailing here. This is not like every other Raja. I know this is supposed to be more nature inspired, dealing with the wild and dealing with animals. Here we go. So I know each one comes with its own little playing card or some kind of special collecting card, not a playing card. This is not Pokemon. So we got this cool little booklet, which we're not gonna read now, but that's really cool. I think it has all the different animals and stuff in it. This, I believe, is our card. So let's see what we got. We have the cheetah, focused, fast, and fearless. Now what you came for, the actual fragrance, we take off this plate and there is the bottle. I gotta say this is beautiful. I'm loving that it is a little bit different from your typical unboxing experience with Raja. Now I have to admit, when I first saw this bottle, online, I was a little skeptical. I was like, huh, this does not look like most Roger fragrances. This is a complete departure, at least in terms of the aesthetics of the colors and the font and all that. I love this matte black cap though, that's really cool. So you can't really tell, but it is green. There's like a green gradient. I'm gonna try to get some better B-roll. I'm gonna get back over there and we'll talk more about this fragrance. Okay, so something that I do wanna say, I receive quite a bit from Roger Parfums. They do send me bottles on occasion and I have a great relationship with the brand. It just so happens that I love what they do. There's a few fragrances that I don't love from them, but most of the ones that I have, I absolutely love. I tend to reach for Roger Parfums fragrances the most in my collection. They're usually the first ones I look at when I'm trying to decide what to wear. So I want to get that out of the way to tell you that, yes, I do have a connection with the brand. However, I'm going to try to be as objective as I can be with this new fragrance. I don't know what to expect. I've heard a lot of people saying they really love it. I'm trying to just be as neutral as I can to give you as realistic of an experience as possible. So we're gonna remove this beautiful black metal matte cap here and we're gonna give it a spray on the hand. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm wafting it first. Oh, wow, wow, okay. This, this is cool. This is definitely a sheep. It's in that vein. I'm definitely getting a lot of this deep, rich, mossiness to the fragrance. Definitely some citruses, it's bright, and there's a freshness here, but I'm getting a lot of this dry, earthy mossiness that still comes off as a little bit clean, I would say. All right, here's up close. Yeah, okay, and there's even something almost resinous about it somewhere in the heart. There's even a little bit of something animalic. There's something a little bit brash, not in a stinky way, but it's, it's kind of dark, wow. I feel like the bottle is very fitting. I feel like the presentation suits the scent. It doesn't really remind me of anything else at the moment. It seems to be thick and pretty powerful. I like this a lot. 
This is coming across as upscale. I would definitely want to dress this up just by the fact that it has this very old school classic oak moss feel, something you would expect from these older gentlemen's fragrances from, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago. I get that vibe, but there's something, again, kind of rich and almost sticky resinous, a little sweet, and something a little bit animalic here, which kind of makes it a little bit more of a sensual feeling, more so than just refined and classy. It's already changing. I feel like it's congealing. I feel like the citruses were popping and you had this kind of deep mossiness and then this kind of resinous stickiness in the middle that's all coming together as the citruses fade. It's a little bit less fresh. It's becoming spicy. It has this sweet quality that is so interesting and that I love because it's not overtly sweet. It does not smell like vanilla. It does not smell like tonka bean. It's more like a cystus or a labdanum. Something leathery in there. Something, again, a little bit dark and brash and animalic. Not in a way that stings the nose, but it works. Okay, yeah. I liked it when I first sprayed it a lot. I really like it now. So I'm gonna come back. This first segment is so much longer than I would. I'm gonna come back after I've taken a shower, I'm dressing up. Grace and I are going to an event tonight. I'm going to wear this. So I'll show you my first application of the full body experience. We'll take it from there. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, we're about to step out. Center of the night will be Apex. It's been on my hand about two hours. I don't even know if I would really judge the performance here because I just took a shower but it's still here. I didn't scrub my hand or anything. It's still here, it's gotten leathery and it has kind of a green balsamic feel. Definitely still pretty mossy. The freshness is gone. It smells wonderful. Just a little bit of an animalic tinge from that leather. But the leather I think is the most dominant right now. This has primarily become a leather sheep. One day I'll say that word right. Anyway, gonna give this a few sprays because this is my first full wearing, I'm gonna be a little bit conservative. I'm probably just gonna stick with four. One behind each ear. This is a slightly different atomizer from his others. It's not quite as pressurized, which is actually fine because I feel like it puts out a little bit less juice and you don't need much because this stuff is pretty potent. So I'm gonna put on two more sprays as I like to do. Inside the collar, I actually got this tip from Roger himself, so it's only fitting we do it with his fragrance. You know, as I'm getting more of it, because as I'd like to talk about, the more of a fragrance you spray, the more of it you smell. Again, that sounds really dumb and rudimentary and obvious, but it's simply the truth. Wow, definitely getting that mandarin orange. Mandarin orange is pretty prominent here, bright, juicy mouth water. I am getting more of that pineapple. There's a pineapple note in the breakdown. I'm getting a little bit of that. I'm gonna put another spray in my hand so I can spend some intimate time with it a little bit more throughout the night. I'm tempted to put on another spray. This stuff smells so good. I'm gonna put on one more spray on the back of the neck here. Why not? It's gonna be a pretty open space, so it should be fine. <sighs> yeah, opens bright, tart, but sweet, juicy, fruity freshness underscored by a kind of dark, rich, resinous, mossy, leathery quality. There's also a little bit of a boozy quality in there that doesn't stick around for too long. I get almost like a sweet booziness in there, but this is mostly, at least right now, it's very citrusy that will fade, and I think we're gonna be left with, again, what I was talking about earlier, a lot of this leather and this oak moss. I did check the note breakdown. I think I mentioned Cystus Labdenum. Uh, Cystus is definitely in here. It provides that kind of sweet and sticky resinous quality, which is, I think, a much more preferable and at least just a breath of fresh air in terms of sweet notes as related to stuff like vanilla and tonka bean, which we see everywhere. So a fragrance that doesn't use those notes, it usually has my attention these days because those are some very trendy notes. This fragrance so far, what I can say is it's not for everyone. This is not mass appealing. Which I love. This is not created for everyone. This is a little bit polarizing simply because it has a little bit of that dark animalic leather note. So if you're not sure how to pull this off, even if you like it, I've experienced this before. I made a video not too long ago talking about how to pull off a more challenging fragrance. So check that out if you haven't already. There's a few tips you can consider when wearing a fragrance like this that has a little bit of an edge to it and you want some tips on how to pull it off. But one of the biggest tips that I offer is dress it up. 
So that's what we got on here. We got on a full suit. Obviously no tie, it's not that formal, but I think it is gonna suit this fragrance well. So I will report back. I might even have a guest with me. I think it's a standout amongst Roger's most recent releases. I love Burlington. And this might be slightly edging Burlington out. We'll see how the experience is. This might be my favorite, even amongst Oligarch Parfum, which is great, but this smells wonderful. It's more interesting. It's a newer DNA, so again, has my interest a little bit more. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you all soon. Okay, you know who this is, but if you don't, this is Grace. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and we're back for just a really quick little update now again. As you saw in the previous segments, Apex was the sin of the night. <laughs> it's been at least six or seven hours since you last saw me. For you, it's been literally a second or two. Mm -hmm. Grace, if you want to smell this area and just kind of tell us what you smell, how would you describe the scent? It's really rich and dark and warm and spicy. Very spicy. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Mm -hmm. And very intoxicating. Wow. I really like it. I would agree. There's something animalistic mm. about the fragrance, and that's the whole idea. It's like the apex predator. That's what oh, they're going for. Yeah. I'm going to just show you what the opening smells like really quick, just so you know where it came from. It starts out a little different than what you smell now. Wow, interesting. Yeah, way more citrusy, mm -hmm. even a little bit of pineapple in there. It's like very bright citrus, you get a lot of mandarin orange, but some oak moss, it's kind of mossy and resinous. A lot of, yeah, I can definitely smell that mandarin. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of mandarin. It's mouth-watering. Mm -hmm. So I think this type of fragrance, as I said, this is not for everyone, especially as it dries down. There's a lot of leather in here, mm -hmm. and I think it gets a little brash on the skin. I absolutely love it. As I said in the previous segment, you know, in terms of Raja's newest releases, between this and Burlington, 1819, I might have to spend some more time with this to see how they match up, but it's a close race for my favorite, I'd say between those two in terms of the newest releases. Again, as I mentioned, Oligarch Parfum is great, but Eau de Parfum is also great, and it's not a new DNA, so we're talking about new stuff. Mm -hmm. I think this is worth a sample. I'm not gonna say go blind buy it because this thing is probably gonna run you over $400. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. It's a brash scent profile. Okay. A it's brash a personality. It's a confident scent yeah, profile. Yeah, confident, it's, complex. It's also very intense. This isn't yes. casual. This is definitely a showstopper. I agree. That's all we're gonna say. Go sample it if this sounds interesting, if it mm -hmm. looks interesting. Really cool concept. I think great execution. It's well, powerful, you know, all is. night I could smell it wafting over. Yeah. As the night went on, it's definitely. Yeah, you know, it, it'll stick around. I don't know if it's gonna fill a room or anything. Again, I don't know who really actually wants that, but some people want that for some reason, but. You don't want it to fill no, a room. It's, you want this to be It's gonna here. radiate, it's gonna leave that trail, it's gonna move with mm -hmm. you, and it will last. It's not gonna grab people who are 30 yards away. Um, but if they get anywhere in your bubble, you got them. You win. <laughs> you will be eating that day. Don't eat people. That's bad. <laughs> anyway, any other <laughs> final thoughts on Apex? Don't eat people. Those are the final thoughts on Words Apex. Words of wisdom. Yeah, don't let this influence you to actually be a predator of any variety. Okay? Thank you so much. Let us know what you think of Apex, if you've tried it or if you plan on trying it. And... We'll see you in the next one. We're tired. Goodbye. <laughs>